Hello boys and girls, welcome to another short summary of Dwarf Fortress progress in the parallel universe embark on a haunted volcano. I have streamed yesterday and what we've done was uh, to order or trade some for some new things from our elven traders. I see the dwarves haven't yet transported all the stuff from the trading depot to their uh, stockpiles. Probably I also don't have so much stockpiles for the things I need. Um, great m architecture m planning mistake has been discovered at the entrance here and it was that we had no way of sealing off the fort from incoming enemies and it must be sealed in a way that bridge races when it's raised, it acts like a wall and cannot be destroyed by building destroyers. Now, we had only, we have only this bridge and there were hatch covers here on the stairs, so enemies had basically free way. Once these traps would be full, they could just go right in. Nobody could stop them or they could at least um, take control of the hatches or destroy them completely and get right in. So that's why I have decided to deconstruct these four um, traps and build a racing bridge on their place, racing in a way that here these two tiles will be will will be occup occupied by the raised bridge and it will act like a wall so there will be no access at least from from the floor flying enemies flying building destroyers could still get in but i think that can be taken care of in the way that we build um yeah what we can't have floor here floors floor tiles can be destroyed i guess Or maybe maybe they can't. I'm not sure whether floor tiles can be destroyed. Maybe maybe wall tiles cannot. Anyway, uh, above this we shall build either floor or wall tiles to seal it off from the flying building destroyers. Then our miners started to deconstruct these ramps from the hill so that no enemies can enter at least no flying enemies can enter our yard here um, just by going up the hill and down the hill here. So that is taken care of and we are sealing ourselves off by building walls here. A very important thing and discovery made our miners in the mountain. We have uh, stairway or the slope leading down and finally they discovered an extensive cavern um, with water which is most important for us since we want to build uh, as we want to build well well in hospital and move move the dwarves generally a bit down some 20 25 levels so in our next session we will start building the well which is most essential for everything you do hospital and stuff um, military wise i didn't do anything I, we have just one squad it's it's training occasionally in our preliminary barracks so I'm, um, not not that really it's they, they are basically armorless weaponless they, but they want to train so they can train okay so that's it no no um, that there were no inconveniences with any invaders like goblins uh, zombies or any any haunted stuff so we were living in peace all the time here in, uh, except for a few encounters with zombified cows but you have seen that um i have started leather working at least i've built a tanner 
assigned a tannery job to a dwarf a leather worker has, has been assigned and um, something else happened no I think that was that was everything so le leather worker yeah our butcher has butchered animals and then I realized I have no leather worker or tanner to tan the hides and work on them so about two or three of our of our stock animals have been butchered just for the meat which is uh, quite a waste anyway we will do it we'll make it better oh and if you have seen in the cavern layer uh, there is there is hematite so so we actually have um, iron ores this is this is all hematite uh, so we will be able to forge steel eventually not now but once we once we get to mine this we'll have steel industry i love that how about that hope you enjoyed this little summary I'll see you in our next session or in our next summary depending on what you what you prefer to watch thanks a lot for watching see you